YouTube video is coming about the sweat behind the scenes in preparation for the tournament. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the hidden tech. Okay. This was my emergency strategy against Warlock. I'll, I'll show you guys a lot of stuff. We'll talk about everything leading up to it. We'll talk about everything, guys. It's all out there. I have nothing to hide. So I spent all that time farming this uh, this Shadow Res gear for it to, in the end, just be completely fucking trash anyway. So Shadow Resistance in, uh, in Classic didn't work. For whatever reason, it was bugged out and it just didn't work. Uh, it's a shame it didn't work. Yeah, it was actually a bug. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about all the sweat that happened, okay? This is story time, it's story time, it's okay. story time. Okay, so, let's talk about this. So, on Skull Rock, there is this pattern, right? It's called Stygian Set. Rune, Stygian Boots, Stygian Leggings. Belt, yeah, got it. And uh, the Belt. So, the stats on this set is Stamina, Shadow Res, MP5 on all right. of them, okay? Now, in order to get the Ruined Stygian set, this is what you gotta do. You gotta get the pattern. Now, unfortunately, sure. no one on the server had the pattern. The, right. the way you get the pattern is you get it in Decoded this box right true here. True Believer? What the fuck so is that? So let's go Ruined Stygian Boots. So if you wanna get this, you get it from this box. It's a 2% drop in this box. Jesus, right? where, where do you get the box? In order to get this box, you have to do a quest chain all over in Silitus here, which unlocks Hermit or Tell. This quest chain, uh, it involves like killing a bunch of mobs, blah, 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 blah. You turn in 10 Twilight texts. Holy shit. He takes it, and then eight hours later, he sends you a mail with the box. Now, you can buy those on the auction house. The problem is, hold on, no, 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 you guys haven't, you guys haven't heard anything yet. The problem is, there is no Twilight texts on the entire auction house on uh, Score Rock Horde. So, so he has to farm out all of the mobs too. What I did was, I did the whole quest chain, then I made an alliance character, paid people to summon me to Booty Bay, made a second alliance character. And I'll present them to you right now. I'll be back at the Senzu. Don't go anywhere. Uh, oh, my God. So if we go back here, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. El Haglo in Stranglethorn Vale. And, of course, his brother. <laughs> El Haglo? El Susso. Bro, I had El Banco. That was my bank character. This is the funniest fucking shit. In Stormwind City. El Haglu, I would sell the best jerky that money could buy. 500 gold on the neutral auction house. Buy uh -huh. it on... I would trade a friend and then he would buy it. Yeah. Of El Haglo. Or, uh, uh, yeah, of El Haglo. Then El Haglo would send his gold to El Sasso. El Sasso would then go to the auction house on the Alliance side, buy up all of the Twilight texts, uh -huh. send them back to El Haglo. Then El Haglo posted them on the neutral auction house, and then my friend again had to instantly snipe it because you can't buy your own auctions. Right. He would buy all of the Twilight texts, trade them to my mage, who would then go to Silitus every oh day God. and turn in hundreds and hundreds of texts. Oh my I God. turned in get the so many texts until i got all three recipes we got so he got all three of them holy shit and he's doing this all off stream just so he can get those three recipes all of the three recipes holy okay? shit on the mage this took us bro this guy put more effort into laundering these uh twilight texts than sbf did into laundering money probably like 1500 gold straight up we bought up the entire auction house supply on Ali's side every time it was up. Uh, so we did that, okay? This and is crazy. And then we were the only person on the server who could craft so runes to get set. Then we ran UBRS. Now, UBRS, as you guys might know, I pretended for the longest time that I wanted this trinket. I yeah. could not give a rat's ass about this trinket. Damn. The reason why I was doing UBRS so he was, was lying because to people all, this guy all along. drops 
this helmet right here. Oh, with the shadow resistance helmet. Dragon skin cowl. Okay? Because I didn't want this any of this to oh, leak. Because this was my yep. snut stack. And I knew if I run into snuts, I'm gonna need some shit. The way this works is this boss has a 12.87% chance to drop the dragon skin cowl. With one time. And then of the resist. dragon skin cowl, as you can see, it says random enchantment. That is always a random resist. Yeah. So, so this it's like a one is in five. A sixteen percent chance of a thirteen percent chance. So it's basically two percent chance to drop. Yeah. I ran so much UBRS until I got the right one. Jesus. Then I did all of the turn-ins over at EPL, which causes me even more gold uh -huh. to enchant it with 10 Shadow Res. Okay? I ran Skolomance. So that's... Oh, my God. Keep in mind, this is the guy who Redditors thought that they would have a chance against. If only, bro, dude, if only somebody was able to give them a flask. Like, the video's not even halfway over. This is a 1.5% drop rate ring, and it can proc a random resist. I ran Skolomance until I got fucking exalted with Argent Dawn. Then, every single day... Jesus! For the entire tournament, since like day five... I looked for the talisman. The talisman right here. This is a 0.1% or like 1% drop in Dire Mall off uh -huh. of trash. And it's not just any trash. It's that's those specters in Dire Mall that oh. dropped this thing. And it did not exist on the auction house until the very final week of the tournament. Wow. Where it popped up on the Alliance auction house. So he the had guy. To Posted it for 700 gold, 400 gold bid. I stayed up the whole night watching the auction because I didn't have that much. Jesus. Much gold. So I bid 400 and I scouted it like it was the black market fucking auction. El Suso was on fire. Yep. Then, after I got the talisman, I had to move the talisman. So I sent it over to El Haglo. El right. Haglo. Posted it on the neutral auction house. And my friend was ready to right. snipe it. Buy it Guess out. what fucking happened? No a way. A fucking bot. Level one in Strangletorn Vale. Bought it oh before my, my friend. God. I swear. So now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not whispering surprised. some like level one Chinese bot. <laughs> Actually, he might even be online. Let's check. Yeah, I bet he oh, probably wait, is. Alliance. Let me log on Horde. No way. I swear. I swear. There was a level one Chinese bot called yeah. Greetings All. Greetings All, oh my fucking God. fucking sniped it. So now I'm haggling with this fucking bot, trying to buy my own neck back, and I don't <laughs> want him to know, yo, I'm fucking desperate. I'll go for 500 yeah. G if that's what it takes yeah, just to buy this get fucking it. thing. So I whisper him, I was like, yo, dude, you bought my auction, like, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, fair play to you. Uh, do you mind selling it to me? Right. He's like, how much? I was like, I'll give you 100 G. Does that sound good? He's like, yeah, that sounds good. We got Easy. the neck. Easy. We got the, the Stygian set. Right. We got the rings. We got all of the Shadow Resist shit yeah, that we get needed. everything. We're starting to stack it up. There was one thing missing, though. Okay. And that, my friends, is Juno's Shadow. Juno's Shadow, which is a cloak which drops in Stratholm, 0.1% drop rate cloak. This bad boy appeared on the Alliance side. 0.1%. Oh, boy. I did all of this off stream, obviously. Yes. This bad boy appeared on the Alliance side. We bought it. Uh -huh. We smuggled it over successfully. Jesus then Christ. we also bought the Shadow Resistance Rings. And not only did Dude, we buy these are expensive. They're hard to get. The shadow resistance rings. Every time I saw a frost res ring on the auction house, yeah, I bought, bought it, it and deleted yeah. it. Like you can see here. D dude, that's bro. <laughs> bro, he's playing the game. He's playing the whole game. Here, I have two frost res rings. Jesus. Uh, I just bought, every time I saw them, I just bought them and deleted them. Yeah. Just so people wouldn't fuck with me, you know, in the tournament. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> when I say there was sweat, 
you guys have no idea how much sweat yeah. there was. There was. I just, I, I really hope that the people that made those Reddit posts see this video. I really hope they see this video. Oh, holy shit, there was sweat. So we got the full Shadow Red uh -huh. set. Okay. Full Stygian set. We got the uh, Stygian boots. We got the ring from Skolo. We Naturally. got the uh, Shadow Resist green ring, almost top roll. Right. We got the, the gloves from Skolo. We got the Shadow Reflector. We got... And this is Adi. where we're, this is where it gets cool. even more interesting. We got Japara. the Funeral Cuffs with Shadow Res. We got uh, the really Sorcerer Ropes alert? for Spell Pen to counter Frost Res. And we got the uh, Argent Shoulders, which I, again, crafted myself. Yeah. We got the I Eidolon Talisman, and we got the Dragon Skin Cow. Mm -hmm. So... At this point, we're looking at 259 shadow Allez, rays. Now, Zico. this number would actually Bien be parla. higher. So this would be 265 with um, uh, without any buffs. Yeah. And we would. So we had 265 baseline shadow res. That's nuts, bro. It's like he also oh my used God. Gift of Arthas, which is another 10 shadow res. They're right, Zico and Sense were going to win from the start, but they had the wrong reason. Yeah. And also, we had this uh, elixir. Uh, do, I, do I still have any left? I don't think I have any more left, but I used them up on uh, in the tournament. But it's an elixir that lasts 30 minutes. It's undispellable, and it gives 15 mm -hmm. to all res. So we had all of oh, that. Wow. Oh, yeah, wait. We're missing this wand. Okay, so we were sitting at 275 res. Wand. With the Jesus, Gift of Arthas, we would be at 285. And then with the uh, pot, we would be at 300, which is hard cap. Hard cap. You cannot 300 have... 300 Shadow Res. More resistance than that. Uh, I mean, you can, but it doesn't do anything unless they yeah. have Spell Pen. Then, and Peyo can attest to this, because I was in calls with Peyo. Yes, yes, I would have Mark of the Wild, and I would have Shadow Protection too. Yeah. But I didn't want to risk getting my shit dispelled or somebody dying who can buff me. Because uh -huh. you guys saw in the finals, I didn't have Shadow Protection. I didn't want to rely rely on anything yeah. in the in a, that that would take me under the cap. Sure. Now, I'm going to show you guys a website. This website, I would have, let's say, 4,500 health. Bro, he's bringing out the graphs. Bro, bro, like, he got the graphs going on. Like, look at this. In my resist set and 300 shadow res uh-huh this would give me almost 16k effective health Jeez. now with shadow protection pot i would be at like let's say let's say 8,000. so i would be a literal raid boss now my strat and he'd be able to use two of those in the fight oh my god against snuts was and this is where it gets sweaty. And this is Peo yeah. can, if you ask Peo about this, he will confirm this. I was in fucking Rage Fire Chasm every single night, leveling my fucking stuff. And I can keep in mind that all of this preparation, all of this work, everything was invalidated because he went up against a warlock. You think you can use graphs against a warlock, bitch? It's a dot. You dead? Yeah, is it? You think you gotta be? You gonna? You think you gonna beat a level seventy warlock? There's no. There's no come. I mean, it's a warlock. F. <laughs> this took so long to level, and I wanted Headmaster's Charge specifically for snuts and I yeah. enchanted it with Demon Slaying. And you guys remember, I told you guys, oh yeah, I want Demon Wait. Slaying because it looks cool. I wanted demon slaying. Because you're gonna kill. And that. you know what else I wanted? I wanted melee jujus. I wanted the jujus. You see these uh, attack power and strength jujus. I was gonna use that, and I was gonna use elixir of demon slaying. Oh, dude, the elixir of demon slaying is OP as fuck. Which gives Look you 265 AP against demons it's specifically. And I was going to run at Snuts with 30,000 health, spam yep. sheeps on him, and auto-attack his fucking dog. That was my strat. That was 100. If that would have worked, 
Dude, I really, really, really wish we could have known if that would have worked. I, I do. I really wish we would have known. 100% my strat. Now, the reason why I didn't do this strat, after spending probably three or 4,000 gold, yeah. I decided, well, shit, it's time to and test. And the reason why he'd do auto attacks is, I mean, obviously because it's multiplied with the attack power stuff, but also, like, fell hunters have, like, insane fucking resists. My theory here and see if it works. So and the save mana. Yeah, it's I went out obviously. in Durotar, and I dueled a Warlock, and I dueled a Priest. Yeah. And what I thought was going to happen was that I was going to resist everything he does. I was right. going to get mana back every time I resist, and yeah. I was going to be completely unkillable. That was the strat. And eventually, I would yeah. just outlast him, kill his dog, and win. Now, what actually happened, and this is where we need the Senzo here, our homie. Now, I want you to... I bet that probably would have worked. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that would have caused him to win, because I bet Snuts would have realized that and just started spamming Searing Pain and Emulate. Max rank, pain me, spam it like 10 times in a row without without the okay. without letting it uh, even tick just spam it so resist one as you can see here two, it says resist three, but what i'm resisting four, is the application five, of uh, you know like the dot shadow weaving but the dot itself can never resist so i'm resisting this the shadow vulnerability i thought i was going to be able to resist the dot application why can't he you see, every time he dots, what I resist is shadow. Well, why can't he resist it? Vulnerability, but I can't resist the actual dot. Now, I'm not sure if that's how it was. I can only resist the dot if he's not hit capped. And, you know, like the natural 1%. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's a thing. And also, okay. Okay, stop. Now, look at, look at my damage that I'm taking. Sure. Actually, wait. We need to... Yeah, he's uh, not resisting any of it. We need to do a, a complete new dot, okay? Look at I that. We do one dot, uh, one dot, and let it finish. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel my shield here, and I'm wearing 320 29. plus shadow res. So I'm overcapped. He's gonna first hit back to full, and he's gonna dot me. And you're gonna see something here. Okay. Okay, so he dotted me. Now the first tick. Had no partial resist, right? And neither does now, this. Now, every consecutive tick after that, no partial will not do a resist check. Wow! You see, every tick will do full damage. You see that? So well, I was I actually did... dying faster wearing yeah. full. Could have been another uh, shadow res gear. Because Holy all shit. the ticks don't check the the resist, the resist RNG. How do you let that happen? And I feel like it wasn't like that. I never actually tested this against the Shadow Priest, so it might be different because he has Shadow Weaving. But I tested it against a regular Priest. Try again. If, if I get it on the first tick, you, you will notice it. Because I tested this with Hydra. Yeah. No wonder Warlocks are so OP. Okay, we got Partial here. Right. You see? I see. You see how every tick has... Almost every tick has Partials. Uh-huh. That's because if the first dot tick doesn't resist, every tick will check for the RNG. So this is just unlucky, but you can see here three in a row, wow. four in a row. So the reason why I completely scrapped the shadow res is because I think that's a bug. I don't think it's intended to work like that. I don't know. And not only is shadow resistance bugged, but also fire resists is bugged. And I think this is something that happened when they changed. You guys remember in TBC mm -hmm. when they changed? Um, so the Fell Hunter didn't have a million resist and it would just take partial resist instead. I think that's when this changed. But we can test with more stuff, by the way. I can show you with Mind Blast, another okay. thing. Uh, and I can show you with Mana Burn, another thing as well that I noticed, which is complete fuck. Okay. But uh, Frost, if you have 300 Frost res, my hit rate is 25%. I have 25% chance to just even land my spell. And that's because all my frost spells apply a slow. So it works like that. And it works the same for CC. So if he tries to fear me, he will have like, uh, 
you were extremely low chance to hit it. Uh, try fear me. But that's just the, the how binary spells Resist. work. See fear? Yeah. Uh, the only thing Shadow Res does is basically deny fears. Uh, try uh, burn me. X5. And you're going to see every single burn will land, but it will do partial damage. And look at my mana. You see that? Every burn is doing 100 damage and burning 800 mana. Jesus. You see that? So he's saying the burn so goes through. fucking useless against mana burn. And then wow. also... Yeah, like the damage gets resisted, but the burn is the same. Sorry. Oh, shit. Sorry. You guys didn't see that. I apologize. Yeah. You see that? So it's complete fucking useless against mana burn. And then also... Mm -hmm. uh, Mind Blast has a 100% hit rate. Okay. Try Mind Blast me. Mind Blast can only miss from one... It has only a 1% chance to miss, but it will always do partial damage. Right. Mind Blast will always do partial damage. And this is... I feel so it's it's kind of obvious that the resists work differently for the different spells. I feel like this is not how it used to be, because yeah, this is also how fire spells work. Like fire spells that don't apply a, a debuff, like scorch I, and fire blast, so cool. also have a hundred percent hit rate. Right. So, I actually debated playing elemental mage because of this, but I felt like it would be too bad into like rogues and stuff. Uh huh. Uh, so yeah, I. Spent all that time farming this uh, this Shadow Res gear and working on this strat uh, for it to, in the end, just be completely fucking trash that anyway. Sucks. And I would just have to go with like my emergency strat. So Holy the strat shit. that I actually did use was like a last uh, resort type of strat. I had so he had everything ready for like this fucking five head shadow resist play, and it just didn't happen. Else prepared, because you know, of potentially finals, a bug if i fought snots um but yeah that's the way it goes i'm pretty sure the partial thing is bugged though i don't know if dot applications are supposed to resist but for sure if the first dot checks to resist uh rng and, and then the, all of the rest of the dots do uh versus if the first dots does full damage and then all of them do full damage yeah that sounds like a coding issue that does not sound uh like that's how it's supposed to be Mm -hmm. Because every individual dot should check the resist RNG. Holy I'm not making shit. any excuses. I probably would have still lost, by the way. But I'm just saying that was my idea that I had going into it. That was my strat. So yeah, I, I feel like... I just... I wonder if he would have won. I really do. Because Searing Pain and Emulate would do enough damage. I don't know. I, I just, I hope the developers see this and they double check to make sure this is correct. I wasted all my gold, basically. Jesus. <laughs> it would have been fun to watch the melee mage, huh? With the, with this, with the staff. Because this staff is actually OP as fuck. It's the highest DPS staff that you can get without raiding. The yeah. staff is like only a little bit lower DPS than, uh, than 80 ish. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was my, that was my plan. I planned yeah. for a month every day, uh, to have a reliable way to beat Warlocks. Uh, it's Jesus, a shame it didn't man. work. But, uh, yeah. That sucks. I don't want you guys to think I, I wasn't prepared for anything. I oh was. Oh, my God. But uh, last minute, it uh, I should have tested it earlier. I, I had no earlier, idea. I would have had more time to figure out, like, a new strat. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Uh, with the dots. Because I die faster wearing 300 Shadow Res than if I'm wearing just stamina gear. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I, I didn't even bring any of it out of the bank. That sucks. Wow. I just, I wonder if it's accurate, you know? I wonder if that's actually the way it's supposed to be or if it's an actual bug. There's the video right there. Yeah, there's the video. Give it a like. This, yeah, that was amazing. Dude, I feel like that was a 20 minute video. I feel like I watched that in five minutes. Like, I was so interested in that. Oh my god. Yeah, that happened so fast. What the fuck? It makes no sense if it's not a bug. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, in general, I think that that's kind of, uh... 
that's kind of weird that like each spell works so much differently, you know? I definitely think resists are bugged. Yeah, I mean, maybe they are. I, I, I don't know. Like, there's a good chance they could be. I mean, shit. Does the shadow resist actually work the way you'd think? It's not to be able to use shadow spells against them? Yeah, I mean, I still think that, like, I mean, listen. Like, obviously. Obviously, Warlock is OP as fuck, right? It is clearly super overpowered. It's clearly insane. But... Is it really... Is it really unbeatable if you had all of those advantages working in the way that he thought they would? I don't know, man. This makes me sad. Yeah, dude. Man, I won a tournament. You screw my prime sub for the rest of history. Dude, if Zico had... Imagine the tournament begins. Zico goes and he has his staff and he just pulls it out and he's like this. And he just starts beating that fucking fell hunter to death. And, like, Snuts is trying to fucking, like, go in on him. Everything's getting resisted. Like, it would have been the most insane fucking final that you could even imagine.